let's continue on being kept by Jesus Christ. That includes sound doctrine, sound teaching, doing what is right, obeying his commands, laying down our lives because scripture says that Jesus is the example that we are to follow. And just as he laid down his life, we are supposed to lay down our flesh and our natural desires, our sinful cravings, and lay those down and die to self and walk with Jesus Christ in his word to be his servant, to be his priest that ministers to those who are lost. The problem is we have a lot of Christians today that don't understand that and they're not walking in that because it's not in their heart because they're still selfish and I know how it goes because I've been there continues on in verse 3 it says dear friends although I was very eager, eager to write to you about the salvation we share which I just shared I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. He urges us to contend, to fight, to keep this truth. He says, For certain men whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. This pertains to those deceivers, those who are trying to lead the true believers astray, the false teachers, uh, the false prophets, those who are doing things out of the wrong motives of their heart, that they say they're Christians, they say they're following Jesus, but their motives are wrong. They're trying to fulfill a sinful desire and they're misusing God and his word to fulfill that. It says, uh, have secretly slipped in among you. They are godless men. So even though these people claim to know Jesus, claim to have authority from him, they are godless. They know a lot about his word. They can even memorize the entire Bible. And they can be quite eloquent. They can look nice, look pretty, handsome, compassionate, sincere. But the Bible says that these men are godless. Who charge the grace, who change the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus. In other words, what these people do is cover up the secret sins and they use God's word to justify that sin. Whether it's physical acts, as committing adultery, uh, theft, fraud, lying, cheating, stealing, murder, or whether it's spiritual adultery by going after different messages uh, from false prophets by putting them in the limelight and try to take over the, the spotlight that, that's supposed to be on God. In other words, they lust after power. They lust after authority. And then they slap the name of Jesus on it and say, see, I'm good. But they're just like the Pharisees. They're, they're whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones. They deny Jesus Christ because, as we talked before, if you don't accept the truth of the whole counsel of God and his word, and it doesn't contradict, and God's word says that we are to obey him, to be holy as he is holy, and that if we understand and we walk in him and he in us, then we're not going to go after the sinful cravings of the flesh. But rather, we're going to seek knowledge. We're going to seek God. We're going to persevere through trials. And we're going to mature in the Lord. And we'll be able to love so that we can do his good works and do his will and to preach the gospel to those that are lost. Because eternity is a long time. But I don't think people understand that. It says, though you already know all this, I want to remind you that the Lord delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who did not believe. We have to understand there is no separation of those who believed 90% uh, truth and 10% questionable teaching and false prophecies. No. Those who believe the truth of God and his word, because you can't separate the two. You just can't do it. And so if somebody is teaching a different message, we already know it's not Almighty God. We know that it's not Jesus Christ. 
who's been given all power and authority. We know it's not the Holy Spirit who guides us into all what? Truth. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their own, these he has kept in darkness, bound for everlasting chains for judgment on that great day. They abandoned their positions of authority. <clears throat> the thing is, as believers, and what we see in the Bible with the angels and with prophets and preachers and anybody who's given a place of authority, that office is not to be over other people, but rather to be an example, just like Jesus Christ was to the New Testament believers. And their authority was to walk in servitude to God, to be servants. Jesus said it. He said, if you want to be the first in heaven, you have to be a servant down here, and it has to be in your heart. You can't be a servant to everybody to make yourself look good because you want to have pride and say, well, look what I did. It goes on and it says that uh, in the same way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. What we see here again is the theme of if you don't stick to the truth of God and his word and you rebel against the authority, his authority, and you try to make it about you in any way, shape, or form, as you are an instrument of God and the focus is more on you uh, imparting gifts to people rather than God, that's idolatry. And you just set yourself up for a fall. And what we see is, again, like Sodom and Gomorrah, these, these towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. We see that with a lot of pastors and elders and deacons and false teachers and false prophets, those who are trying to lead us astray from God and his word, they are perverting God and his word. And they're not making it about him. It's they're not making it about sound doctrine. They're not making it about obeying God and doing his good works. But rather, as you'll see later on in Jude, it's much worse. In the very same way, these dreamers pollute their own bodies, reject authority, and slander celestial beings. It says that these dreamers, we are supposed to adhere to God and his word. Are we supposed to be dreamers who are trying to, instead of going with this, that we try to seek out new and different and exciting things? Well, fire came down and uh, lit, the, lit the bush on fire, you know, back in the Old Testament. That's what we need. We need the fire of God. You need to have the fire of God. So it's no longer about God, but about something that he did. And the enemy's going to jump all over that. And he's going to say, I'll give you that fire and I'll even pretend to be God. And you'll be following a false God. You'll follow a false Christ and a deceptive spirit but it'll be so close to the original, but it's going to be off because it's a different message. Anyway, these dreamers, they reject authority. They won't listen to scripture. They won't listen to anything that God's word says because they cherry pick, choose things out of context to support their dreams and their additional revelations that go against God's word that contradicts against the clear teaching and the sound doctrine that we've received. Talks about uh, they slander celestial beings and how many of these false prophets and false teachers have gone, gone out to uh, rebuke things and uh, receive things from angels and get blessings and anointing from angels that is not even mentioned in Scripture. And as a matter of fact, we're warned to not do those things. How many of these false teachers and false prophets have, have said that they've gone to heaven and they've talked to Paul and, and the, the disciples and, and Jesus and uh, uh, all kinds of things? In other words, they're consulting with the dead. We're not supposed to communicate with the dead. We're supposed to present all our requests to God. And Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit who would guide us into all truth. And we have God's word and we're supposed to renew our minds with that word. So where in the world do, am I supposed to follow somebody who says that they went to heaven and talked to Paul 
or Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and received their guidance. That is heresy.